at the vice chancellor level at the University of Colorado, we have a lot of women. And w one of our newest vice chancellors is a vice chancellor for research and innovation. So I'd like to bring up vice chancellor Terry Fees. And Terry will introduce senior Zoe Beard Fails. I didn't choose that. Uh, actually, the, the reason I chose that, I, I had two boys. And so that always seemed really appropriate with two boys. So when they asked for a song, and I just thought that, that was it. <laughs> and now I've, I've met Zoe, and I think it, it fits Zoe. <laughs> um, we had a great conversation. I feel really fortunate to meet Zoe. This is her senior year. And her, room, her uh, teammates like to call her Beard. <laughs> for Zoe Baird fails, and um, so they call her that for short. I didn't quite get the inside story on that, but I think it's because of some of the crazy things she says and, and all of that. Um, she's currently majoring in advertising and film, so we talked a lot about film and how initially in film, the, the classes tend to be three and a half to four hours long which I can't imagine, I would have had really good naps during that time. <laughs> but she said over time she got used to the long classes where there'd be a lecture and then a long film, and sometimes it would be in Russian, and so she'd have to watch, read the, the, uh, the tagline below and try and stay awake. And, uh, but over time, I think she found that she really enjoyed um, those films and they weren't as, as boring as they seemed to be at the beginning. She's also getting a um, technology technology arts and media certificate. So she has a real interest in a broad set of things and she hopes to go work for NBC in New York. So that's her plan when she graduates after this year and she will graduate in May. Um, she's effectively, although she has two much older siblings, in effect she was sort of raised as an only child and one of her highlights the last year was when her older brother came to her game and proposed to his girlfriend and he hadn't seen her play basketball since in eighth grade. So that was a real highlight for her over the last year. Okay, I have an initial question. This is an easy one. Okay, I, I don't think this will stump you. What's your favorite film? Princess and why? Bride. And why? Because it's amazing. It's a comedy, it's drama, action, adventure. I can quote every line. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't hear you. What was the answer? Uh, Say it oh, again. Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Yeah. Got it. So what's your favorite line from the movie? Oh, wow. Um, I think my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> 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 OK, good. I say um, that weekly. <laughs> what's that? I say that weekly. I have a mug. OK. <laughs> I noticed all, the, all your teammates recognize that. Um, Zoe also likes to travel. She's been to Africa, Italy, and France. And when she graduates, she hopes to do some more traveling, so she's looking forward to that. Um, what other, what class or group of movies do you like best? Romantic comedy. And what would be your top one? Sleepless in Seattle. It's, I mean, <laughs> come on. We've all seen it. It's beautiful. <laughs> So um, I have a, now a hard question for you. Who is the living female leader or athlete you most admire and why? Um, so when I first heard this question, immediately my brain just went to Michelle Obama. Um, she is just um, the embodiment of a powerful, strong, independent, um, smart woman. Um, I think, you know the saying, behind every great man is an even greater woman. I think she just completely embodies that. and. Um, not only inspires women of color, but just women in general for what we're capable of, and um, she's amazing. So. That's a good choice. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Before I forget, here's your gift. Thank you so much for having lunch with me. I really enjoy getting to know you, and hopefully we'll see you at some games. Yeah. Great. Have a good season. Great. All right. Bye.